told rather, him to do that. Yeah, so I don't know what we're talking about because you just rather that's that's fine for you, you know. But the, how that's not that's two different upbringing. That's not right? looking in someone else's shoes, though. That's not what. That's not looking at someone else's shoes. I'm saying those aren't the shoes I want to look into. <laughs> And that's what I mean by you can only yeah. see your own perspective. There's so many perspectives, Paul. Those coming against me, I don't want to be in your perspective. I don't want to look at things from your perspective. I don't give a fuck about your perspective. And well, that's you that's that's where the me. problem lies. No, Paul, that's not a problem. That's an that's an adversary. I'm not putting myself in my adversary's shoes. I'm cornering my adversary. I'm alienating my adversary. I am tricking my adversary. I am getting rid of my adversary. I'm not trying to empathize and understand. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? That's exactly what they do to bait you. Make you feel the empathy and sympathize and then they sneak, sneak upon you. You're not making any sense. Like, you want to understand why the killer killed your family? Yeah, come close. I'll tell you more. That has, that literally, <laughs> that makes no sense at yeah, all. That makes all the sense. Like, when you do me wrong, I say you did me wrong and I back off of you. I don't say, hmm. Maybe you did it because you were having a bad day. That's your fucking problem. No. You should have. They're doing it because it's their job. You should have checked your attitude before you got to my door. But you came here with a bad attitude, so this is what you get. It's and it happens to me all the time. If I don't check myself when I go into certain places, people check me at the door to stick the fuck out. And I understand it because I talk to them rudely, or I did something that they didn't like, like calling, talking dicks when they tell me, Ebenezer, we don't, we don't want to hear those kind of conversations. And I continue saying things that they don't like. If they tell me, bro, you know what, I've had enough. We're out, we're done. I get it. I did the wrong thing. I, he did. He told me categorically what he didn't like. So, I mean, you know. So, how do you have empathy for... You have empathy for situations that make sense to you. Whatever makes sense to you. So, for example, well, that's not... you empathize with Brandon and gave him a 20 or 2 hour stream that rose him X amount of dollars. Right? Yes. Bingo. That's, that there is one situation <laughs> I would never have empathized with. Right. So because how do you from, have empathy? What do you mean? How? I would have I would have empathized with somebody I had I actually felt good about. Someone who I had good wishes about. Somebody who I felt like they actually deserved it. Somebody who I I had looked at their character and felt like you know what? So you can't empathize with a stranger. I can. I can. But you don't. But I'm saying. When I'm talking about. See, you're talking about. You're saying. You're 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 looking at my adversary and telling me to empathize with people who are against me. I'm telling you, that's it's funny how you tell E B Z. He right? sees things on his own perspective. No, you see, see things in her own perspective more than anyone else in this world. Paul, her ego is sky high through the roof. You should take her own advice, but just be honest. I mean, I not, don't, I don't, don't see it. The TT is getting the conversation. I don't see it. But the point I'm trying to make is so bone clinks. Do you empathize with him? No, I don't. Okay. So what the fuck are you telling me, Paul? What are you trying to convey to me right but now? But I... <laughs> yeah, I mean, if what somebody... You, what are you if, trying to tell me right now, man? Like, come I'm on. Just, you just told me about people who are going against me and telling me, I'm talking empathy. Here goes someone going against you and you don't empathize with him. Yeah, like, but you, you have to understand the intention why they're uh, going against that's you. That's a difference conversation. But you don't look at intentions. That's a difference conversation. See, that's exactly what you did leaving the parking lot. Two separate conversations initiated, and then in the, in the next few minutes, you're going to be telling me I don't know what we're talking about. Like, are we supposed to do the same circle? I don't know. There it is. So let's focus on one conversation. The point is, you're not supposed to, you can't be empathizing with your allies. Yes, you can understand them. You can even empathize with them. That's, that's not my job. <laughs> my job is to make sure you do not disrespect me. My job is to make sure you don't disrespect the people around me. You know, my job is to stand strong. I mean, my job is to respect myself and respect you and not allow you to act like like fuck. So if you're acting like like an idiot, I will, I will try to stop you, Paul. I'll be like, Paul, you're acting like an idiot. Don't do that. That's not me doing it, though. That's you. <laughs> So if you're acting towards me like an idiot, of course I'm going to tell you, Paul, you're acting like an idiot. Towards me. Right? So, but you're not a stranger. Now, mind you, if I was talking to some idiot that I didn't know, I don't have to empathize with you and say, hey, you're acting like an idiot. No. I'd be like, motherfucker, get the fuck out of my face. See? Two, same message, just conveyed differently. I suppose. I 
Sometimes it's hard to follow what you're saying, though. <laughs> yeah, I said you would say it. I said you would say it. I, mean, I said you would say it. It's said for a reason, though. To me, they're very simple points. Like to me, these things are not even things that you talk about, right? Like, under normal circumstances, they go without being said. That's what's crazy about it. Like, that's not a conversation. Like, we have other things to talk about, Paul. Like the two, like the couple meeting us, the ones that were gonna come. I still have to text them. You know what I mean? Uh, where are we going? Are we gonna go to the Boondocks the Park? Boondocks. Like, we have other things to talk about. Like, EBZ, keep your TTS out of this. Turn left, turn left. I, I now I am finna go right. But uh, it's not it's not gonna be the best place, it's just That's his maps. Yeah. Alright, we're like ten minutes away. The beer garden would be a better place, but I say it's I th I think we definitely but you know, one thing about Paul, I always keep I always keep one pers uh, perspective in mind though. If the whole world was fueled with people just like me, it'd be fucked up. So no matter how right I am, I need you to be in this world and being wrong as well. And I need his wrongness and his wrongness and his wrongness. If the world because, was full of EBCs, you're right. It would be a fucked up world. <laughs> well, you can see it how you want to see. But what I'm saying, I'm talking about an inclusive mentality versus an exclusive mentality. My point is, regardless of who you are, I still appreciate who the person is. Because I don't have to see it from your perspective. That's what keep, gives me the peace of mind to say from my perspective with, with pride. Because fuck your perspective. There are a billion of them. Keep your perspective. Make the best of it. I got mine. I'm not over here trying to, like, figure you out. But I'm saying, thank God there is you. From romantic days. People like you create things that I would not spend my time doing. Like, you know things I haven't spent time researching. Crazy. Right? From romantic day, the merry-go-round to this crazy makeup sucks and coming. Okay. Thank you, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're just a couple. We're, we're like an old married couple right now. What are you going to do for your B-Day, Paul? I don't know. I think uh, I'm either going to be in Europe or I don't really know. It's September 29th, so I really don't. I really don't know, to be honest. I guess we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. If anything, probably just go out to eat. When is your birthday, EBZ? Uh, it's coming in December. Oh, okay. So what are you, Sagittarius or Capricorn? Sag. Sorry, sorry. I can see it. What is that? What is that? <laughs> what do you uh, see? I don't know. It's that fire sign. It's like a fire <laughs> sign. <laughs> fire sign. I'm getting old. I'm going to be 25 next month. That's fucking old as shit. I'm turning 25 next month. That's gonna be weird. So that, that's a big. That's a big number. When would you want to die? How old do you want to be when you die? I mean, I'd, I would like to never die. So how old do you want to get? Uh, I mean, I'll get. Uh, if, I, if, if I'm, I, I would like to be, you know, 100 years old. Depending on if you're old, old as shit at 25 and you're hoping for 100, can you imagine your mentality by the time you turn 60? <laughs> you would want to jump a bridge. Like, you're the kind of guy who would commit suicide. What do you mean? Why would I because do that? Because you were turning 25 thinking you were old as shit. What would you think when you turn 26, 7, 8, 9, 10, 30, 35, 40, 41, 2, 3, 50? Like, you'd be like, you know what? I don't even matter. Well, I mean, I guess when I'm 60, I won't really care about being old because I'm already past the point of being old. You know what I mean? No. Whereas 25 is like, I'm starting to get there, so it's a different mindset. But when I'm 60, I'm already past that 